even short periods of time, it doesn't have to be a long period of time, short mm. periods of time are important, those moments of silence, of reconnecting with God. I remember when I was doing my doctorate many years ago, um, I had begun, I got so into the doctorate that I put my prayer second to the doctorate, and then I realized at some stage, this is not right. Okay, so I was getting up early to do the doctorate, and then I do my prayer. So I changed the format back again to my usual format. So I got up early and I did my meditation. Mm. And what I found was my doctor went much quicker, much easier. Wow. I kept finding stuff that would take me ages to find. Everything just seemed to fall into place. What I'm saying really is when we put God in first place, it seems like we, we, with a lot of time, we can't have time for God. But when we make time for God and put God in first place, we discover we actually have more time than we realized. Yeah. We actually discover it and things begin to fall into place much more. Once we place God at the center, that's been yeah. my own experience. But to go back then to your question, your question is about okay, how do you begin really? Before you look at how to begin, okay, I want to do something previous to that question. Okay. You see, because how you begin will depend on whether you want to begin okay. in the first place. Okay. You have to have the motivation. Okay. Mm. And to have the motivation, because if you look at what Jesus says about prayer in the Gospels, what is the one word and in his parables about prayer? What is the one word he always goes back to when talking about prayer? Well, the one thing that's coming to my mind is to kind of go to a quiet place, to go to a, no? Okay, that's part No, that's not what you're looking for, okay. <laughs> the one word, the one word that he will always go back to is perseverance. Oh, okay, excellent. Perseverance. Yeah. He will always go back to the perseverance, to stay at it. Okay. And it's very easy. Very easy. It says, you learn to pray by praying. Yeah. So perseverance, why is perseverance important? Because there will be difficulties on the way. It's like any relationship. There will be difficulties on the way. And therefore, the question will always come back to you. Am I in this relationship for what I'm getting out of it or for the other person mm. who I'm in relationship to? Mm. Okay, so this is important. But to have that motivation and perseverance, you've got to understand one very, very important thing. Prayer is a love story. Yeah. Prayer is God who loves us and who is seeking us. And mm. prayer is our response to being courted by God, as Pope Benedict says. Wow. And he goes to it from, he takes it from the Song of Songs, as did Francis de Sales, who was lectured by um, Jeanne oh, and yeah. The whole thing of the Song of Songs is about that. It's about the relationship. It's about being drawn by the beloved, by the one who loves you. So I want to put this question to you and to all the listeners, all the watchers. Okay. Have you ever found yourself in the position where you love someone and you've plucked up the courage to say to that person, I love you. And then there's silence. <laughs> and you're waiting for the response. What's going on inside of you as you wait for that response? What are you hoping they will say? What would you hope they would say? Yeah, you're hoping that they're going to say it back to you. And what would they say when they say it back to you? They say, uh, I love you. Uh, no, they say something else. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love you too. Once you understand that, you understand prayer. You understand meditation. You understand it's a response. It's not something we do. We're responding to God who loves us. God always takes the initiative in prayer. I love you too. And for me, that is often the starting point for prayer for me. I will say that phrase. I will go over again and again with that phrase to quieten myself. It's like hitting the ground running because it's a response to someone who's already loving you. I love you too. Mm. Once you begin to understand that, it allows you to run the marathon rather than the sprint. Yeah, yeah. 
you have the perseverance once you return to that and yeah. keep returning to that. Yeah. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the watch more box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.